Well, gentlemen, we've been talking all day about discipleship and fellowship groups. I want to share a few thoughts with you as we prepare for Mass here in just a few minutes. But uh, if, if you think about it, God chose disciples in, in order to change the world. He didn't, it wasn't just a group of guys to hang out with. He wanted to change the world, and He did exactly that. Um, and, and the early apostles, when they, when they first started following, they had a lot of flaws. They were guys making mistakes just like I make every day. But if you look at the model that Christ gave us, it was men in a small fellowship community holding each other accountable, learning how to pray, and learning how to follow Jesus. That's what we're talking about, is that same kind of model where we sharpen each other, we build each other up, we hold each other accountable, and we grow to new life in Christ. That's what we're talking about. Some, 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 to become a positive believer and a true disciple of Christ, you heard the guys mention several things. There's a couple of more. Um, learn from Him every day. Whether it be reading the catechism, doing the daily readings, the reflections, attending daily mass, they gave you a whole laundry list of ways to do that. But learn something new about your faith every single day. Make sure that you're proclaiming the Word to, the family, to, to your family and to others that you know. Um, spend time every day with Him in prayer. And look to, look to serve others. Um, in, in, in whatever way you're called, look for that service opportunities to others to build up God's kingdom. Teach others the truth, the truth of the gospel. That, that's our responsibility, is to, to be living witnesses. Our job is to be living witnesses to feeding others the truth of Jesus Christ on a daily basis. That's what discipleship's about. Matthew 28, 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And I wanted to uh, share, share something else with you. That, that tells us, that's an instruction that Jesus gave to us is our responsibility as men. Conditions of discipleship, what He told us to do, it's very simple. And it's revealed to us in Matthew 16, 24, and 25. Jesus said, Then Jesus said to His disciples, Whoever wishes to come after Me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow Me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for My sake will find it. So He's told us exactly what we must do. It's very straightforward and very simple. And then I'll repeat again in 28, 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're here to support you. We're here to help you continue on that faith journey. So we hope that we catch your name. We have a chance to reach out to you whether you want to join a men's fellowship group, improve one, or start one. We're here to help you. That's our ministry. That's what we're about. The ushers, if, if you would, go ahead and walk down the aisles. Um, gentlemen, what we did is, is we opened up yesterday afternoon talking about faith forges freedom. Go ahead and start passing those baskets down the aisles. Um, and how important faith forges freedom is and iron sharpens iron. And I'll, I'll remind you, uh, what we did is we, is we said Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. If you feel that in your heart, and that is your call. We've got a gift for you. It is a wristband that you can wear that, that has Proverbs 27, 17 on it, iron sharpens iron, okay? If you wear that, I promise you, I've got two bands that I wear, one for my chirp retreat and one for this, this conference. It gives me a chance to evangelize to somebody every single day. They'll ask me what that is. They open the door, I run through it. So that's what these wristbands are for. And I'll leave you with one last thought. Um, I had an opportunity last month to go to the Oklahoma Men's Fellowship Conference. They put on a conference very similar to this. It's a very well-run conference. It's their 18th time. Um, so, so we're comparing notes with them. What a great opportunity. While I was there, uh, one of the speakers, uh, Deacon Ralph Poyo, shared a segment on discipleship with us. And I just want to read you this closing thought, and then we'll prepare to celebrate the Holy Mass. It is vital that new disciples be involved in some sort of spiritual development group at church. 
They need consistent contact with other disciples who provide support and accountability to protect the newfound relationship with Christ. The number one reason people give up their relationship with Jesus Christ is that they try to develop this relationship alone. You don't have to go it alone. You don't have to be that man that thinks he can conquer the world or has to or it's his responsibility by himself. Brothers, we invite you to be part of our men's fellowship and for us to reach out to continue to help you find that new life in Christ. And we'll get prepared to uh, celebrate the Mass. One, one general announcement, as you leave Mass, anything that, that you see laying around, take with you. Because there is a 5 o'clock Mass here this evening, um, and we've got to clean this property up, so make sure that you take everything with you. And if you see any trash or anything laying around, please help us clean it up. Thank you for being here.